Petrie and Capella playing is remarkable. I think the 65 wins matter, but almost, almost all of that goes out the window if you lose game one. If you lose game one, you might as well have won 55 games because you're giving home court to Golden State. And more critically than giving home court to Golden State, you are giving them the mental edge in the series where your season is on the line in game two. So while I I'm not going to call it a must win where if they don't win, the series is over. But it's as close to a must win, in my eyes, for Houston as game one can be. I think Golden State could win the series while losing game one. I think it is very hard to see a path for Houston to win the series if they lose game one. Yeah, I, and there's no comparison game one in the East and what Boston, the pressure they have, which is real, compared to the pressure that Houston has as the number one seed winning 65 games because of Boston. Man, you know what Boston's looking forward to? This young team with the two stars they have. Yeah. That's what they're looking forward to. So regardless of what happens game number one, regardless of what happens game number two, but in Houston, it could be the they could be in a must-win situation in game number two. 65 wins, totally out, home court advantage, already lost, and I believe the wild card is Steve Kerr. The reason why he keeps talking about these championships, because that's what he's telling to the team. And that's an actual strategy, just like playing defense, just like um, how they're going to move the ball. And the strategy is in crunch time, we have this feeling of winning more than they do. Their coach, nothing but disappointment. Chris Paul, first time being in a final. James Harden has been to a final, but, but is not a champion. So I, I heard Steve Kerr. And I believe that is the constant theme that Golden State is going to have as they go through this series, even if they were to get behind a game or two. They're trying to rely on their championship pedigree and their championship experience. And Golden State has seen in the toughest series they've ever had other than the finals, they've been down 3-1 in the series and came back. Everyone pokes says, oh, you blew a 3-1 lead in the finals, and they did. But that was after overcoming a 3-1 lead, and that was before they added Kevin Durant. That was against yes. Kevin Durant. But Kevin Durant has the experience on the other side, right. too. Exactly yes. right. The, this, the other subtext of this series, to me, is fair or not as brilliant, and I don't use that word lightly, as brilliant as James Harden has been in the last four regular seasons, mm -hmm. this series will be a referendum on him on his style, and on him as a champion-level player. A question for you. Is it similar to what KD, when he makes the decision, when they get in the finals last year against LeBron, is it similar to that? It's, I would, listen, I would say it's similar in that you're going to get the brunt of the blame if you don't pull it off. You are, ex But the difference is people didn't doubt. Is How good is KD really? And I still hear that with Harden. Mm -hmm. Harden's going to win the MVP, and there is still a segment of NBA fans that feel like this guy does it through bait and switch. He does it by tricking the refs. He does it with herky-jerky stuff. He does it with not just raw, great basketball skill. Now, I don't subscribe to that. I think he's a brilliant passer. I think he's one of the yes. best step-back shooters I've ever seen. And I think his ability to draw fouls is a skill. Yes. But if Harden is not brilliant in this series, the Rockets can't win. And if he's mediocre in this series, they can't keep it close. And that will, it, if he's not great in this series, see, and Jenna, if, it won't matter no, what he does in any regular season moving forward. He, he will never be in the MVP discussion again because people will hold this against him. Like, and people will say, okay, yeah, but who cares? Like, this is fair or not. And I don't know if it's totally fair. Will be a referendum on James Harden. You say that you still feel that the Rockets can beat the Warriors if Harden plays great. Yes. You have to beat them four times. Like you have to be great, really, really great to combat those four guys in the Warriors lineup four different times. And game one, you think that can give them enough confidence because this is a Warriors team that you don't want to give them any momentum because you know what they can do with it. I, absolutely. I, I though it's why I think game one is so important. But why do I think James Harden can be great over the course of the series? Because I've seen him be great over the course of four years. I've seen him be the, statistically yeah. the best player in the league this year. I, I believe in him. Maybe I'll look foolish for it. I believe in Chris Paul, and I think Clint Capella is one of the more underrated players in the league. Yeah, I think it's a great matchup. I, I think the styles, and it's also, um, you gave me some great intel on this. It's also two teams that really believe in basketball analytics. And now how they play and how they take shots and stuff is totally different. Their philosophies are totally different. But the concept of shooting threes, playing at a pace, and the spacing of the court are very, very similar. But of late, Nick, this is not like me. 
I'm starting to like Golden State. I knew it. I felt it I, the other day. I, I'm, I'm starting to understand the championships and seeing how KD, there is no answer to KD, you know, with Clay. So I, I, I'm just, I'm saying, right now, I'm not making a prediction, but the Golden State and the championship is starting I, to rub off. I on felt it. it coming. I felt it coming the moment CJ McCollum was out here the first day. And I said, I got the Rockets in and seven. He was and he was shocked. shocked. He, was, he was like, oh. You don't just think they can win. You think they will win. And the more people you talk to around the league, they would be, it almost feels like people would be more shocked by Houston winning this series than by the Celtics beating the Cavs. That even though Vegas doesn't say it'd be the bigger upset, feels like people around the league think it will take a disaster for Golden State, an injury in the series. People so, around the league do have a lot of confidence in the Warriors. People around the league... And, I, and they've gotten to me. Yeah, I, that's, I, I saw that coming. And so I, <laughs> I get that. And you might be proven out correct on this. I, the, listen, sometimes I'm a slave to history to a degree. The 65 wins really matters. You don't win that. That's a number that has been a key number in NBA history. The 50 and 5 matters to me and the home court. We saw Boston win game, game series one and I think series two in large part because they had home court. I think the home court matters. Now, if we get here Tuesday and the Warriors blew them out, I'm going to feel like a fool. 20 teams have won 65 teams in the regular season? And 15 of them won the title. And 15 of them won the title. Yep. yep, won the title. Not even, forget make the finals, win the title. That's a good number to keep I in mind. I knew this was coming. I, I knew it. Set you up. <laughs> coming up, one